Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will learn how we can use Fargate profile also. So in the previous videos, we have seen that we have created the managed node group that creates the nodes and then there it deploy the workloads. There is an option which is a new functionality that EKS added, Fargate profiles. So what is Fargate profiles? So they let you use Fargate. Fargate means it's serverless. There is no server. Like here you can see that it has created the EC2 instance, but in Fargate it is serverless. So it let you use Fargate to run Kubernetes pods without needing to change your pod specifications or redeploy your apps. So what you have to do and what is important, you need to create a profile that matches the namespace and the labels if you are using it as part of your pod. So if you click on add Fargate profile, so you can just go there and click on add Fargate profile and you can just put any name. Name does not matter. So this is my name of the Fargate profile, the pod execution role. So you need to create a role for your Fargate profile also. So it creates a recommended role. So let's just click on this. And here you can see that it has selected AWS service and in the service use case, it automatically selected EKS Fargate pod. And now I will click on next and it has already selected the policy for the minimum policy that Kubernetes pods required. And click on next and you can just put the name EKS Fargate role and the trusted entities you can see EKS Fargate pods and the permission and now click on create so now so now our role is created successfully so go back there click on refresh and you can see that it's auto populated and we have to select the subnet so I have selected all my private subnets click on next and this is where you provide the namespace and you need to ensure that this namespace does not match with any of your deployments which are running on the managed node groups because this is the only thing that let EKS cluster knows that this needs to go to Fargate or this needs to go to managed node groups. So I am just putting the name of this particular Fargate profile pod is name namespace is Fargate. So now in my Kubernetes configurations, whenever you are deploying any deployments or anything, you have to ensure that your namespace is Fargate. If it is not Fargate, then it will automatically deploy it on the managed node groups. So click on next and click on create. This process will take several minutes and once it is done, you should be able to see that the status is active. So now you can see that Fargate profile is active and the namespace that we are using is Fargate which is very important because this is the same namespace that we will be using while creating a Kubernetes YAML configuration files as well. So now we will move to our deployment configuration. So I have created this repo and there is a folder called Fargate and if you look on into this so we are deploying the same Nginx image that we have deployed on the managed node groups that you can see it in my previous videos. The only difference that is in, in that YAML file or in this is the namespace name. So here I am providing the Fargate namespace and based on this namespace when I deploy this it matches the Fargate profile and it deploys your Nginx instance on the Fargate instance instead of on the manage node group okay so now we will run our deployment file so just run kubectl apply hyphen f and our file name this will create the namespace deployment and the service and you can see kubectl get pods so it has created the pods So here you can see that there are three pods that it has created on the namespace Fargate. So now let's just go to AWS console. Now let's just go to AWS console and see how does it look like. So let me just refresh this page. 
and here you you won't be see anything here right i mean this is just configuration of your fargate profile but if you go to your resources section and go to pods and here you can see that you get the options all namespace and here is the one that has created now so fargate and here you can see that it has created three pods successfully so this is how it is actually differentiating that this particular resource needs to deploy it on fargate profile instead of easy to manage node groups and if i go to cluster and click on nodes so here you can see that three nodes created for the fargate so fargate generally when you have a three replicas five replicas it just consider it as one machine and it run that one replica in one one node so here you are seeing three nodes but in managed node groups we just created one node group so all the three replicas are running into one ec2 instance only so generally you have your managed node group structure like you have more than one node so it is always highly available because some of the pods are running on one node and some are on different nodes but the fargate it is a serverless this server this fargate we cannot access it we don't know where it is created it's not available on our aws account as well so now we have created this we have created the service also the next part is we need to access this on the browser like we did for the managed node group so how we will do that so this is also following the same step like we did for the managed node group and if i go to my pods here you can see that my aws um, load balancer controller is already created in this particular account so we can just use it we don't need to create one more aws load balancer controller what we have to do we just need to create an ingress resource so for that if i show you how that ingress resource looks like again this is the same ingress resource as we have for the managed node group the only difference is here is the namespace so it is just creating inside this new namespace fargate so let's just run this as well So let me just uh, cap gives it here ingress so this will create the ingress resource and if i do this kubectl get ingress hyphen a so here you can see that uh, we have two ingress resource because one we already have which is running for the managed node group and their namespace is different and the another one is running on this particular namespace uh, and it is creating the new dns also so if i go to my aws console so let me just go there load balancer you should be able to see so one is active because it's already there but the one the fargate one is created successfully it is following the same process once it is available you should be able to access it on the browser there is no issue with that